goals. You're going through, but it's a setup because while you're going through, you always have everything that you need. Amen. 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 Jesus. 
Amen. Stopping you from giving your gift unto God. So that God, Amen. listen, the word says that God will give you the power to get wealth. Amen. That's the word of God. Do it on I give you the power. I give you the power. I give you the power. I give you, 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 you. Both of y'all have the power to get rich. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, I got you got it right now. Amen. That is past tense. So because the scripture is past tense, that means that the scripture is already operating. The people are not operating. Yes. You wait for somebody to hire you. And you're wondering why it's so hard for you to get a job. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe, God wants you to use what you got in your head that you're gifted with, and then you create jobs. Amen. We are the kingdom of the living God. We are supposed to create wealth. We are supposed to create work. What's stopping you? You are stopping you. Amen. Stop blaming the devil. That's right. Stop blaming the devil. It's like the devil is the devil. The devil is, the devil is tired of y'all blaming him. Actually, if you was working for the devil, you'd be rich. That's right. So it ain't the devil because you ain't rich yet. It's you. Rich and hot. Tell me why. How many? Oh, I. No, I won't even do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Go, Pastor. Walk us through it. Walk us through it. You don't want to run him out. I keep getting on me when I go home, I quit. But <laughs> I'm in here. How many of you? How many of y'all took the? Oh. Right. A lot of you too. How many more count? <laughs> tell me why. In the knowledge bulletin. Tell me. Win. Just tell me. Just tell me right now. Now, now keep in mind, God has given you the power to get wealth. Tell me why in the knowledge bulletin it listed that every nationality has a restaurant in knowledge except for African Americans. Tell me why. Tell me why y'all will cook, y'all will make plate after plate after plate, but nobody has enough faith to go and open up a restaurant. Just tell me, just tell me. And, and watch this, it ain't gonna work till you do it because you're the child of God. We will cook up a store. We have all of y'all gonna cook in two weeks for Thanksgiving. Everybody gonna fry, gonna burn, burn the back off the stove. <laughs> but you, you don't have enough faith to go and bless somebody else with your gift and make money in return so that you can bless the house of God. Right. How do you do? Why? All these carpenters, all of these. This is so many gifts sitting right here in the church. So many years. Oh yeah, I, I'm the victim too. I'm, I'm just as guilty. Yeah. I work in my little car thing, and the devil is, is fighting me to right and left when I'm doing it. On the highway, back and forth, doing whatever I can to work that thing to feed my family. Because God said, I give you the power to get wealth. Yeah. Then in Genesis 127, he said, let us make men in our image. So if you are the image of your daddy, and he is creative enough to create man, he created Bill Gates. Your daddy. Your daddy created Bill Gates. Yes, yes, yes. And most of these, uh, most of these inventions come through the men of God and the woman of God first. We just don't act on it. But your daddy created the, 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 the jokers that make the money, and you sit here asking for him for something you already got. I pray that you get outside of yourself. I pray that y'all make a committee, open up a nursing home, a safe home, something. It's, it's just too much gifts laying dormant. All of y'all, all of y'all got nursing field experience. Years. Amen. 12, 10, 5, 10. That's years. That's enough that you can go to a bank and say, listen, we need a million dollars. We, this is what we're going to do. It's, it's 13 women in here and in 13 minutes and we're going to have our own facility. We all got experience. We don't work with kids. We don't work with handicapped, mentally handicapped. And this is what we need to do. We are blessed. And God will give you the way to do it that they've never seen it before. They slide you the money. You go on. You create wealth. And your children don't starve. They go to college. Their children don't starve. They go to college. And the house stays open. Amen. That's right. It's simple. No, no, brothers, myself, uh, but, but brothers in here have been in prison. So then we should have an auto prison place for brothers that come out because nobody knows what it's like to get out and, 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 and suffer but us. Oh, I could preach. I could preach now. But, but, but how about 
a four or five of us get out, say, well, this is what we're going to do. We get, a Pastor Rasheen's wife is a grant writer. Most of the stuff they got, they got just because of grant writing and, and, and everything. And, and, and we get a grant, and we say, this is what we're going to do. We're going to open up this house for men. We're going we're gonna to formulate a way. God's going to give us a plan. See, it's a God-given plan. See, so they're going to work, work, and then we'll stop brothers they're from working in and out of prison. We'll help brothers get jobs. We'll create jobs for brothers. Not only that, we're going to need nurses. Oh God. And we already got and, and we already got them. We're gonna need folks to cook for these brothers. We already got them. So we prayed we we paid them the folks from our own body to cook. We pray the nurses from our own body to make sure that we are feeding the brothers with diabetes, right? We keep them alive, we show them how to get a job. Why? Because we've been there and done that. God did not deliver you from things just for you to sit here and say, I've been delivered. Amen. You can use your testimony and get paid for it. Amen. All of y'all that have overcome addictions. Nobody knows how to work with people with addictions better than you. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Oh, God. Who, who, no, and you got the anointing. That's a powerful thing. You got the anointing. So you, not only will you use your, your natural experience, God will give you stuff that you can never tell, that, that, that yes. the person that goes to school yes. for 15 years can never tell that person. Oh, God. But we're still praying for money. That's right. And the money is in the house. The money is in the house. Yes, it is. You are the money. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You are the money. God said, I will give you the power to get it. Amen. But we ain't getting it. Because we're not moving. Right here, I just stated enough for us right now take over a whole community, to, to, to open up shelters in Africa, to, to open up water wells in Africa, to open up a water well in Africa is only 1,500 pounds. Wow. We, we spend, we blow that. We blow that. To open up a well when they have in Africa is only 1,500 bucks. And you can create water for somebody who doesn't have water. A $1,500, they'll drill a hole and put a pump there and they can have water. Not only that, let's take it further. Once you guys get your own nursing home here or whatever you want to do, you go to a country that's not as fortunate and do it over there for, for, for a quarter of the money you would do it in the States. Then what you're doing is you're preaching the gospel into a whole other nation. Amen. Wow. Praise God. Serious stuff. We don't need to keep praying for money. If you are not called to keep working for me, now don't go quit your job. <laughs> do it. But I'm saying you need to come up with a plan. Some of y'all need to meet. All of y'all jokers that can fry, that can cook, that can burn, that can barbecue. Why not? Amen. Get a Amen. nice place. Not no hole in the wall. Get a nice spot. You're a child of God. You know how to treat them. You know how to talk to them. You know how to you, you, you just know. You're a child of God. Then it won't be a problem for you to give an offer and pay your tithes and buy somebody a coat and put somebody in an apartment. These are things the children of God wants to do. You have the kingdom of God, and it's our job to bring the kingdom of heaven to the earth. Amen. That means that when we are in a place, nobody should suffer when we're around. Bring heaven to earth. That's our job. Bringing what God wants to the earth and to supply the needs of the people. When you supply the needs of the poor and the people, and you don't have to do it with the state, you are blessed. Amen. Jesus. And you create wealth for these children. Thank you, Jesus. Then while they're being an intern, they cannot, they don't have to struggle like you. You say, oh, just come on and work for us. And I'm praying for something, and I'm wondering why it's not working when I pray. Because it's not working because God is tired of us praying for something he's given us. Already. Already. Woo! Amen. Good God. You look around, you see all these gifts. All of us, like, like. All believe one day we'll see him in the NFL. That's just what we believe. If it don't happen, he'll be perfect or something else, and expert or something else. But what about you being able to help them? Amen. God has called us to be greater than just receivers. I told y'all when I preached before, the person that gives is more blessed than the person that receives. Amen. Amen. In the scripture, the person that gives is more blessed than the person that receives. Amen, Pastor. You think about all the things that people make money off of. A fishing store, all these fishermen in here. Open up a store, a fishing store. I mean, little stuff like that. The problem is, 
what, what, what myself and what the rest of us, we think we need money to start stuff. Can I tell you something that you heard a hundred times? Your favor will take you places that money can't take you. Amen.